Let's get going. Day one. 200 years ago. A tiny white pixel descended from the sky into a broken down city and explode. Oh God, and exploded. Apocalypse is the eye of a needle through which we pass into a different world. George Zabrowski. It got very rainy. And we're in a cave. Made of metal. Whoa. There's monsters. And fire. And electricity. <laughs> okay, I like it already. Haiku. Wake up. That's me. My little connections are severing. My recharge station. Aww. We're so cute. Whole day to jump. LB is map, menu, chips, items, map. RT is dash. Oh, and I've got like a cool little I have to say I have to say cool. How's the volume for everybody? And then it makes a ding noise when you're cool enough to do the dash again. So the dash affects it but not the weapon. To slide past enemies. Interesting. Wah! We gotta go down the trash chute. Do you think there's any secret blocks in here? What's this? Oh, whatever it is, I got it. Fire, pixel, metal, electricity. Long ago, the nations lived together in harmony. These are... I don't, I don't know. How does the rest of the script go? These are the elements that make up our world. I don't think I have enough jump, enough oomph to get across. No! Abandoned wastes. Those enemies make like a little basketball noise. And this is a charging station. Okay, I can use D-pad or joystick for this. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. I got a frequency receptor. It receives electromagnetic waves passing through the air and translates them into map data. Spare parts are needed to repair machines. They have valuable resources that can be traded for goods. Stored spare parts. Gold crests will store spare parts for safekeeping. With a whistle, you can deposit spare parts at perch stations. 
Kill Switch Sword. A sharp-edged metal chip used to dispatch robots. A few of its components are missing. I don't have any chips. Oh, are these? Um, this is maybe like skill trees. Map. Oh, it's... It's big. It's a big map. And this is a 12-hour game? That looks like a huge map. Hi, Snake. Welcome in. How's it going? Your model is so cute, right? Haiku! The creators added one additional ingredient, Chemical X. Can I do anything over here? Oh! I don't think I can get those. So maybe I shouldn't break that yet. And if I need to, can I mark stuff on the map? Map sweeper? I don't have that. I don't I don't think I can do any markers. So let me make a note. Also for stickers and stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna combine it on the page with my notes, with my notes cam. New game! Haiku the Robot starts today. This looks like... Bottom right of abandoned wastes need... Higher jump or wall climb. Let's see if we end up getting something like that. Those look like that looks like a turret. Okay, this is more teaching me to definitely look for secrets. I'm gonna save again. Today I learned Jen takes notes on other games and not just La Mulana. Well, yes, I take notes on all my games. Whether I have notes cam or not, I didn't used to always have it, but I think it's just gonna become a thing. Okay, I don't think you can pogo. Like, I took notes- I took a lot of notes for Subnautica. To go back and remind myself to find certain things or to make shopping lists for ingredients I needed was more common. What else did I take notes for? I've drawn maps for other games, definitely. I don't- it looks like I'm not gonna need to draw a map for this one, because there's an in-game map. That looks like a little vacuum cleaner. Adjustable wrench. Hold RB while on the ground to heal! That animation is so cute. As far as like how blind of a playthrough this is going in, I think I saw Colette play this for a, a tiny bit and then dipped out because I was like, oh, I'm gonna play this, I don't want spoilers. And... Like, I know it's a Metroidvania. I don't know. I really don't know too much about it. The people that I know who've played it, I think Kim Chica played this as well. And she liked it. 
and Colette highly recommended it, so... Those are people whose recommendations I tend to trust. <laughs> We're still in abandoned wastes. We can go left and down. Or can we, we can go look at all these tires. I probably shouldn't mess with those. Oh, hi! Oh, hey. You don't look possessed like the other machines out there. This is Limerick. I'm going to put abandoned wastes so I don't have to keep writing it. You are very small, though. I'm sure it won't take long until your turn. Until you turn. Look, I've been doing some investigating, and it seems that these contraptions have been put here on purpose to disrupt machine programs. This one looks destroyed. But my map is still blocked, so that means there's another one around here somewhere. Yeah, this one definitely looks destroyed. There must be another one around here somewhere. The, the voice is actually saying the word destroyed, it sounds like, and it's um, muffled. Ow. <gasps> the self-healing is so cute. Okay, let's go down here. Do these platforms... It looks like they might collapse. They might, like, fold down. Oh, that one was fast. It was charging me. I love... I love everything about the environment. It's so detailed and nice. Like, these have a little bit of a bounce to them. Ooh. Oh yeah, we haven't tested fall damage yet. I was wondering if that one wall was breakable. As a heads up, we're getting our first ad break in about five minutes. Whoa. And I like how our weapon has a huge circle. It's it's not just left swing, it's not just right swing, it's basically all around us. Whoa. Oh, those can drop stuff on me. Rusted key. Okay. Oh. Wee. Don't forget your tune up. back this way. Can I climb this scaffolding? <laughs> oh, this looks like a key that I might need. Yes. This looks scary. 
Looks like he was gonna close. Or I thought it might close behind me. Oh, we've already moved into something that's not abandoned wastes. Okay. Can I do this midair? No. I can't do the little dash midair. Hi! My name is Pinion. I was just in the area checking up on an investment opportunity. What is your name? This is a new area, but I don't know what it's called. Hmm, not one for words, eh? I do like a robot who keeps to themselves. Spare parts are hard to come by, my friend. If you're not careful, one can get carried away by spending time spending them all on repairs. If you're having difficulty saving up, I suggest you summon a gold crest to bank some of your spare parts. Here, use this while at a perch station to summon a gold crest. Oh, now we got the whistle. Don't worry, my friend. Your spare parts won't disappear. You will always be able to access them when purchasing from vendors. I'll see you around. Oh! <gasps> Burb. Deposit. All of them? I wanted to pick some amount. Withdraw. <laughs> Alright, let's hang out here for a second while we play an ad and take a quick stretch. We've been going for an hour. It's time to give the eyes a brief break. Thanks for hanging out and playing this cute game. Okay, so we sort of have a bank. It says when purchasing from vendors, but I'm not able to heal until I get more. So I'm kind of bummed that I just lost all of my spare parts. Okay, there's a bunch down here. Breaking the treasure. What's funny is that guy was like, oh, you're gonna need to buy stuff, but I don't think I've seen a shop yet. I love the basketball noise these, like, tires make. Ah! I'm a little clumsy with this sword. It's interesting it shows the spare parts like leaving your inventory, but it almost looks like, oh, can I go chase them again? Can I use them twice? No. <gasps> a save. Oh, I was so close to a save when we went on break. Oh, well, this is perfect. There's the map, and we're back in an in abandoned waste. So, near bottom right of AW for abandoned waste abbreviation. Axiom Verge looking save point. Yeah, well, it's not quite an egg, but it's pretty dang close. I went and found, um, I went and found my Axiom Verge 2 Day 1 VOD because I just forgot everything about that game and I was wondering if I should try to restart that. We talked about Cave Story too. Mel, how's it going? Welcome in. Uh, what was I just talking about? Someone recommended Pentiment? And they said it's a medieval murder mystery. And I went, medieval? Like, medieval dynasty? So, maybe you would like that one. <laughs> um, like Oberdin, too. Like a medieval version of Oberdin was the, was the cell. And I was like, I'm intrigued. 
That sounds pretty good. If that doesn't win Game of the Year every year forever, I will rage quit gaming. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know when it came out. Yeah, Chef, I wasn't sure if you were still here. I didn't want to call you out a lurk, but... If you're early into early 1500s Germany, Pentiment is the game for you. Oddly, I'm really into historical archaeological elements mixed in with my gaming. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> this looks intriguing. Is this a boss? Okay, bye. I think it's a boss. It's gonna squish me! I don't have any, like... Uh, things I can throw, like, long range yet. And I can't heal and move at the same time. Okay, I exploded immediately. <laughs> oh no! Let's go back. I need some shuriken. Haiku the robot ninja. Nasty, welcome in. Whoa, it's too hot in here. Okay, super hot area. Super hot. I said bottom right before, but that other spot, this is actually the bottom. This is the bottom bottom right. <laughs> Haiku the Robot Ninja sounds like they need their own theme song, yes. As long as it also comes with G.I. Joe PSAs, I'm fine with that. G.I. Joe. I don't think I knew as much about the G.I. Joe. I feel like I'm in the same boat as a lot of people. I, I didn't know anything about the G.I. Joe TV show until the PSA dubs, the joke ones, came out. And then I learned them all. Haiku Robot Ninja Hero lines up with TMNT. I love it. Hi, Kappa. So, I can't remember if... Okay, the boss was up. So let's go down. I guess the PSA has taught me... Taught us a lot about life and love. And I'm, I guess I'm not talking about the actual PSAs, but the dubs. <laughs> Stop all the downloading. I'm a computer. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think you can do that. You better bring it. Just the dumbest. The dumbest. <laughs> Pork drop sandwiches. Like all of the... All of the 2000s out of context humor. Random voiceover humor. Okay, so we've got another area. Super dark area in the bottom left. Can't really do this yet, unless we decide to do a dark room. Hi fishies, how's it going? Welcome in, happy Monday. I guess it's not, like I've got this nice little bubble, bubble of light around me. But I don't think I can continue anyways. What does the map say? Oh, it wants me to go down? Maybe I have to turn on the power and then there's an elevator? I gotta go fight that boss. It's day one. I return to being terrified of combat for the first day. Until I get used to the hitboxes and controls and everything. Alright. I 
I don't know how I'm supposed to get around you when you do that. It takes me too long to heal. Oh god. No! Oh, I can jump over you. Okay. I didn't realize that the top of your hitbox was... Oh my god! Rude. Just pretend that the small orb is Hollow Knight of sorts. <laughs> We're a bug! We're a robot bug! I, we honestly look like a robot apple. More than anything else to me. I'm afraid of you. I'm doing much better now. looks sad honestly it looks like you're crying I don't think you want to be a boss fight oh god oh oh dear oh I forgot I can't run underneath time just being too close the hitbox for when I slash need robot teeth to eat robo apple <laughs> there's nothing more fearsome than robot bugs <laughs> I guess this guy's doing THK moves with the columns. The columns are okay, I just don't like when it gets too close. When the- when the magnet guy gets too close. This feels a little overpowered for a first boss fight. I keep thinking I can dodge underneath too, I don't know, my brain hasn't... I was doing so well. And then... Not. There's like a little gap that makes me think, oh yeah, I can jump, I can just go right under you. But the gap is on the wrong side. This part, this part's t scary. God, I'm so slippery. No. Uh, I slid into him. He's attracted to you. The magnets are attracted to me. I don't I don't know what else I missed. I think maybe there was a door on the left side that I didn't even pop my head into. 
I just want like one more health. And I wonder if I have enough time to heal when that second phase starts. Thought he was a car battery? He could be a car battery. No, it's a magnet because he's pulling those like shavings of metal out of the ground, I think. I don't need the eel during this next phase yet. Oh my god, that was so scary. I wish I could jump high enough to hit the railing that it's hanging off of. That feels like the secret strat. I picked a bad spot to stand. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I should not have gotten away with that. Please be over. Oh, thank God. That was so scary. Let's go save. We did it! First boss down. It feels like, I don't usually use the phrase buttery smooth, but it feels buttery smooth, the controls, until you're in a boss fight and you're like, oh, I don't want it to be that smooth. I'm sliding all over the place. I'm gonna go right into the boss fight's hit, or the boss's hitbox. I always use the phrase buttery smooth. I don't know that I do, but you know what? Now I will. That's a pretty good phrase. Definitely didn't use it to describe La Mulana. It's the opposite feeling of La Mulana. Haha. <laughs> I made the game sound tasty. Like mashed potatoes or something. Buttery smooth. Can I ask you a question? But do you, most Metroidvania games have a save point? Um, well. Usually like a save room like this. Yeah. If you're talking about Metroid and Castlevania. Especially because, you know, the... the the parents of the genre. They both have very distinct save rooms. Uh, La Mulana was not rooms, but little spots you had to return to, so very similar. Axiom Verge has rooms. Hollow Knight has spots. Gato Roboto had either rooms or spots. I can't remember. Axiom Verge has eggs. Sorry. We got a magnet! Electromagnetism. <gasps> Whole day to jump well on a wall. Cool. We got a little wall slide little wall jumping action. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that when I came here I wouldn't be able to get out. <laughs> Let's go back to that room I wrote down. Has to be a reference to Hollow Knight. The item get animation in the text after is the same. It's a little robo Hollow Knight. Oh, this is cute. Oh. Wow. 
Yeah, and the slash going from, like, all the way behind you, like, it goes from 10 o'clock all the way through to, like, 8 o'clock. It's such a good range. I love, I love the slash. But it is a little slow. I wish I could do, like, click, 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 swipe, 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 and I can't do that. Got to Roboto had separate save rooms. Yeah, I'm just comparing, like, room that you enter, and there's usually nothing else in the room except for, like, a save station, and it's marked on the map, like, you're trying to unlock those rooms, versus Hollow Knight, which is, like, one point in a big room, and, and that point might not be safe. Although, I can't think of too many benches that have, like, lots of enemies nearby. So I guess they are bench rooms. I'm thinking of the one in City that Quirrell sits on. It's nearby stuff, but it's it's down a tall way so that you don't get ambushed. Yeah, they're far enough away. You mentioned Axiom Verge 2 earlier. You mind if I ask your experience impressions? Yeah, I, I went back to watch the VOD because um, I couldn't really even remember like why I stopped playing it. Something else was going on in my life, too. I think I took like a content break. I was just maybe having a little bit of burnout. But it was so, um, it was so big of a game that I forgot what I was doing a lot. Like, there was just so much ground to cover. I got a little overwhelmed by it. Beautiful art, really cool items and weapons, cool new mechanics, but it was a, it was a lot to take in. Uh, I still want to try it again someday. It's just I would have to start from scratch because it's been so long Is that breakable no, what is this this looks like map room Ammo room. Oh, I'm supposed to break it Breaking it updates. Oh, right. That's what that other character told me. Oh Okay Oh yeah, this is still part of Abandoned Waste. Okay, cool. And one really weird thing about Axiom Verge 2 was, um... It was really loud. Which, you know, you don't generally complain about something being too loud if you like the music. But I remember struggling to balance the volume on stream. And just thinking, man, I, this is on the lowest setting. I have to go into Windows and turn my own app setting down to make it quieter. It's like a signal jammer, yeah. I've not played it myself. I enjoyed the first one, but heard mixed opinions on the second, so never got around to it. Mm -hmm. The thing you broke is straight out of Super Metroid. Yeah, it totally is. If you break it, you can scan the map. We can go talk to that character again. Maybe they'll explain it again. I want to know what button I press. Okay, it's LB. If I press select, it goes to items. If I press LB, it goes to map. I don't know if there's a button that goes straight to the chips. Ah, you can't get me in here. You probably can. Whoa.
Oh, I need to update my notes then. I can't just say bottom right because I assumed that this chunk was a different area, but it might it might still be part of abandoned wastes. I really wish I had map markers. Maybe I will end up drawing my own map. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't played a Metroidvania in a while. And I usually like the memory game of it to see what I, uh, what stuck. But yeah. Hi, May. How's it going? Welcome in. Okay, here's our banking friend. They're gone. Oh, this is a totally different room I hadn't been in yet. Is the magnet you got a usable item? That's what gave me, um, wall jump. Wall. It's like Mantis Claw. <laughs> you slide down the wall and you have traction, but you can't stay in one place. Oh, it's like Ori. What was the item in Ori? And then later you could get the ability to stick in one place. The game's really good, May. I've only been at it for not even an hour yet, but it's cool. Oh, okay, this- I came in here. This is the one where I needed a higher jump. To get all the treasure! I could deposit some of this in that bank, huh? My cute little bird. Missing the things. I'm very tired. You're good. No, it's okay. I'm happy to, you know, go over what mechanics. Okay, did this. What mechanics are here? as we find them. The sounds are very good. When you string a lot of the spare parts together, it sounds like, um, Tanuki Mario flying. Great sound design, definitely. This is... There's a tire village. Okay, cute. Oops. Hi! Hello there, little one. Have you seen the train recently? Strange, it doesn't usually take this long to come round. I wonder what's holding it up. Sonnet, the shopkeeper. I hate having to chase after currency, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we get a magnet for that too, but it's a different magnet. I own a shop compartment on the train. I got off to look for new items to sell and now I seem to be stranded. I guess I'll have to wait. I haven't had many customers lately anyways. Doo -doo -doo. Rusted key. Map sweeper. You gotta get the map item. Have you seen the train recently? Oh, okay. Uh, are you marked on the map? East of Tyre Village. Love the hat, yeah. They're not bugs, but she looks like an ant. Is 
We gotta find the train. Let's go this way. Oh, good, good job, Jen. I'm out of parts. I'm out of spare parts. Oh, six wasn't enough to heal me? And then I wasted them because I didn't have enough? Devastating. I gotta find a place to save. Oh, look at that! A place to save! And six isn't enough to heal. I thought for sure it would be enough to heal. But I spent all my money. Is getting too close. Okay, this is what I want. Tire village, yeah, right there. And I can't I don't think I can zoom in anymore, but I can zoom out. Green Goblin, don't you know how much I've sacrificed? Oh, right. I've been here. Who was in here? The detective. Tire. Village. Talking. About. Map. And now I can get up to some of these places I couldn't access before. There's lots of tires bouncing around. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Is this another boss? Yeah? Let's go save. Does it show the save rooms on the map? I keep pressing select and it doesn't take me to map. It's because of La Mulana. <laughs> I don't know where the closest one is. Maybe down to the right? I'm gonna have to break that muscle memory. Sooner rather than later. Oh, I might be able to remap it. But like... There will come a time when I reach a game that I cannot remap. So I might as well just learn how to do this one and... I don't know. I think it'll be okay. 
Austin, welcome in. How are you? Happy Monday. Dang, well, if this is how far the save is, I don't want to have to walk back this far from a boss fight. Muscle memory be damned, yeah. Yeah, this is silly. I'm going in circles. Also, those guys are hard. Okay, you can't heal too much in a row because you get hot. Swinging your sword doesn't make you overheat. But healing and dashing do make you overheat. We can go back to the start now. I can't save here, though. Hopping in, I misunderstood, and now I like the idea of a metroidvania where it lets you remap areas by moving them around and reconnecting them like building blocks. Map-based, cartography-based metroidvania when? I know it's like already a big part, because you're mapping things out as you explore, but that would be a cool premise. I would play that game. Infinity Edge. Oh, here's the description for my electromagnetism. Once used to forge big machines that moved garbage to and from the incinerator, hold A to jump while on the wall. Use near a perch station to summon a gold crest. They will store your spare parts for safe safekeeping. Use spare parts to repair your body and heal damage. Oh! Automatically sweeps the local area for obstacles the user has yet to overcome. Sharpens the sword, granting them a 10% chance to deal critical damage. And this one, equip and modify at a repair station. Okay, so based on the type of chip, it can only go in a certain slot. I think this might be a new area. Better bench for your chip. We gotta go to a bench! Whee! I feel like there's something behind that block. Might be more convenient if Meridia was over here, yeah. Build your own warp game. I'll work on it right after I finish the theme for Haiku Robot Ninja Hero. <laughs> Wymizer, how is your fish song remix coming along? Wait, I'm confused. It said that I equipped... That I equipped this. But when I open the map, it says map sweeper question mark. I'm surprised how this environment and music is giving me Rain World vibes. I wish I could recommend Rain World. It's so special, but unforgivingly brutal. No. <laughs> ah. And not in an unforgiving cryptic riddles way, but like a platformy button pressy way. Oh. It's not even it's not even platformy button pressy. What is it that does me in? Having to do a long stretch of things with no save point in between. Or no warping. And getting really far through a sequence and working really hard at it and dying and having to go all the way back to the beginning of it. That that usually does me in.
Okay, I guess we're going up here now. Hmm. Oh, this is cute. Look at all these spare parts. I have to go chase them down. I feel like that floor made a weird noise. Isn't that just a nice noise when you collect those? Oh, who are you? Rusty. Arcadia. Are we in an arcade? Rusty the Traveler. Arcadia to explore. It's a good money sound, yeah. I like the sound design in this a lot so far. But it's not the utopia I pictured. You look a bit lost. No problem, though. It's all part of exploring. Let the path forward be dictated by your own curiosity and sense of adventure, and you'll be fine. Here, take these handy little markers. <gasps> Yay! They will record previously visited repair stations, in case you're short on spare parts and need a place to repair. Yay! Oh, thank goodness. Colette, hi! Thanks for the good luck. I'm liking it so far. I told chat that you um, had recommended it, so I hope some more people play it. I haven't heard very many people talking about it. Rain World is so cool as, say, a fully realized piece of art, but so very difficult to actually play. Hi, Clavinet. Welcome in. There's a question mark on the map in this room. There is, yes. Um... Right below me. It's just so cute and fun. It feels good. It feels so good coming off of La Mulana, which feels so janky. And, you know, cute little robots, cute little so sounds and enemies. What's not to love? Okay, I don't know if I can get there yet, though. I think the robot has a scarf here. We'll go up and talk to Rusty. Yeah, <laughs> a scarf and a walking stick. It's hard to describe. It's both that Rain World is incredibly obtuse about mechanics needed to survive and even the story, and it's the feeling of trying to survive at the bottom of a food chain, never knowing when you'll encounter something that wants you as lunch. So, like, Subnautica? Oh, devastating. Okay, I'll come back. That was the only other thing in there, right? I think so. Oh, I could exit out the top. I wanted to... I don't- I can't get down here. There's a switch and a door. I really wish I had map markers. Far right. East of Tyre. Switch. Behind. Locked door. Maybe if I write it down, it'll help solidify the memory. Maybe not. We'll see. I love him. That's a good NPC. I was sorry to miss the Lama Lana wrap up, but Mother's Day got in the way. Don't know this game seems Hollow Knighty. Yeah, it's like kind of a cute robot Hollow Knight. It's got some other Metroid flavors to it. I mean, robot Metroidvania. That's really the only premise I got going into it. And yeah, of course, Mother's Day. Um, I totally understand. I knew I knew some people would miss out because of the holiday. I just made... Did I make the highlight of that stream yet? I'm not sure. I, I saved the VOD, so I have... Um, I have it archived. <laughs> it's archived forever. This... This boss? I don't really want to fight this boss. They don't have a save anywhere nearby. So I just saved up here. 
And now we gotta go jump down this room. Good job, Jen. Rather easy to move away from other things in Subnautica. In Rainworld, there's a desperation to not get cornered and eaten. Ooh. Sounds scary. I think this is the way to Tire Village. Yep. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Oh. Oh no, so many tires. I mean, it is Tire Village. The music is great, though. Grunge. Gotta concentrate. Okay, you look like you're losing steam here. You're spewing. Oh no. Please stop this. I don't want to play beach volleyball with seven different volleyballs. Oh no. Oh, stop it! There's so many of you! Oh, and I can't affect you while you're... What was that? This weird gooey ghost came out of it. I feel like that one was a lot easier than the other one. I probably should have come here first. Heading out for a bit. Have fun, humans. Thanks, soul. Take care. We'll see you around. Thanks for watching this. And chatting with us. And the game recommendations. Capsule fragment. When I get enough of these, do I get more health? Health capsules contain vital oil, which makes machine hearts run smoothly. Collect three to increase maximum health. Cool. Machine hearts. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't talk about it, but I noticed, like, the animation of the health meter. You've got, like, this little beating heart. Mechanical heart. Yeah, wasn't that song good? <laughs> My next song to add to my video game music soundtrack. Their health UI, UI is the upper left akin to Hollow Knight Soul. Yes. Uh, well. It's, it's interesting. I said yes really quickly, but it's like if you do too many moves in a row, it's it's showing that you're overheating. But if you if you wait it for it to recharge, it automatically ref refills or like cools back down. So it's so if you had a certain charm equipped, and even then it's a really quick recharge. Uh, and then the health doesn't replenish or like cool down or heat up. It only goes down if you get hit and then goes up if you repair yourself so okay i think now i'm ready to go up here the hot area we'll have to come back to the dark area we'll have to come back to and the locked door we'll probably have to come back to Yeah, this is good right here. <laughs> I just thought we could share the platform for a second. Oh. 
having trouble going back up here because I'm hitting my head. I didn't think that would be a thing. Weird. No matter what, you can't jump up and over. Okay, so I have to go the long way around? Ugh. I should drop off some spare parts. Do do do. It's a very nice noise. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. I still haven't made the woolulu sound for sound bites. I will. I I will. That trio video, like I told you, took up so much of my brain power for editing. And now that it's done, I feel like I got some capacity back for other projects. Less intensive projects. More Wooloo, please. Absolutely need more. Needs more Wooloo. Am I doing this right? Yep. Okay, here we are. Up and out. Traversing the map looks like it's gonna take a long time because you're such a little, such a tiny little robot. But usually the rooms don't take that long to get through. I don't know how to describe it. I remember when I played Dread, I thought, oh my gosh, this map is huge. Like, I can't, it's going to take me an hour to get through this one room. But you go a lot faster than you realize. Scary drill bits. And they don't even give me spare parts. Whoa, what is this? Through metal and steel machines built a world superior to those before them. This statue stands here to honor the creators of Arcadia. The machine land of amendment. Okay, I need a new page. There's a human hand. Yeah, what's that all about? Creators of Arcadia statue. Oh, I didn't mean to read it again. Oh no. Okay, good enough. Drawing hands is hard. We have four and a half minutes until our next break, just as a heads up. It's like little, little circuity things. It's cool looking. Well, that was a cool item. I, I want to see if one of these is a save. For some reason I was like, no, I bet that bottom left one is a save and then we double back this way. Neither of them is. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Interesting that this... I wonder if this hooks up to the original, like, trash chute.
eventually. That would be cool. I want whatever that thing is. In a minute. Is this a save? No. Oh, that looks really scary. It's got grindy things underneath it. I think it's one way. Oh, and I keep forgetting this isn't a save. Dang it! We're overheating! I can't go up that way. <sighs> DJ, welcome in. How's it going? Doc, DJ Doc Holiday. Hello. <laughs> all the parts of your name together. Sorry about that. Oh, no. I want to try to get this item that we saw. wasn't that bad. It looks like there's still glowing stuff around it. What was it? Okay. Doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Doing pretty good so far for a Monday, you know? Well, this is cool. This is like an elevator shaft. Nomad's plate. It's got a hand on it. What does it do? Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I gave the five minute warning and then in some additional amount of time the ad will start. I forgot to click it before it kicked off, so let me just try to find a safe spot to hang out. This seems safe enough. Enough. And last time I just left it uh, running and it was relatively safe, so that's good. Once this ad decides to go, the UI for this is so weird, um, we will take our stretch break. Stretch, snack, water, all the human things. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the game. Hi Jim, how's it going? Welcome in. Happy Monday. I found this weird item and I don't know what it does. I don't think I can go farther up the elevator shaft. Oh, I found um, this right before break. Watch it end on a three-way tie. I know, right? What happens if it's a three-way tie? Actually, I think in the past we've done... Have we ever had to break a tie like that? If it happens, we'll probably do a live poll in Twitch chat. 
Not like Case of the Golden Idol isn't really fun. They're all really good. Yeah, I would be happy. I mean, I wouldn't... With polls, I don't do them super often, but I don't do them unless I'm happy with all the choices. And obviously. Or, like, I don't have a personal favorite. Like, if... Like, Haiku. Haiku was gonna be in a poll at some point, and I was like, I will be too bummed if I don't play this. I don't want it to lose. I gotta play it without a poll. And then these ones... I'll be bummed if I don't play any of them, but it just means that the others have to wait until another another poll or another time. I'm hoping for Heaven's Vault. I imagine it's likely the least known. There is that aspect, too. I wasn't sure how well-known any of them was. It seemed like Golden Idol was the most well-known, but Strange Horticulture has been in, like, really holding it own. I think it had the lead first. I have a replica of 60s version of the necklace with a peace symbol on it. Nice, that's cool. Playing all three at once, three games, one controller. <laughs> as far as games go, I love games with puzzles or all puzzles. I like puzzles too. What's your favorite puzzle game? This is Nomad's Plate drastically reduces the number of spare parts dropped on death. Oh, right, I can't equip it here. I forgot. Mist! Nice. Mist is a classic. Ooh, that is, uh, these are some traps in here. Ooh. Okay, I went out. I went out of here. Goodbye. I'm gonna go equip my cool new toy. I keep leaving this room and coming back. It's too hard. Of the three, Golden Idol is the one that I've seen other streamers do. I've played Strange Horticulture, and that was my pick. I've seen streamers do Strange Horticulture. Not a ton, but I've seen it. Oh, you're playing Talus Principle, also a really good one. Nice. How are you liking it? Case of the Golden Idol was notable because it was finally, after like four years, the first Obra Dinn like. Oh, uh, okay. Long awaited. Oops, I didn't mean to do that again. Oh well. Weird. It's tricky but manageable till I have to break pieces out. I had a lot of fun with Talus Principle. I like how many different things you can try if you get stuck. I'm a big fan of non-linear games. I don't want to be forced to do one puzzle at a time. And that was one of Talus Principle's strengths was I had so many different rooms available to try at, every, at any given moment. And it just, it was just a cool setup. We had a lot of fun playing Talus Principle. Okay, now I have to come into this scary room. Ooh. Oh, I tried slashing that thing. It's like a robot mosquito. Huh. Did you finish it? I did! Uh, I didn't 100% it, but I did finish it, um, and I played a little bit of the DLC as well. Oh, here's the electricity. When the electricity nation attacked. Who are you? Oh, Limerick. I didn't recognize you. Sorry, friend. Limerick again. Limerick is kind of Quirrell-esque. 
Fine. My name is Limerick. I would have told you earlier, but I honestly didn't think you'd survive this long. I'm a detective. That means I was built with higher processing power than most machines. Circumstances have brought me to this land. I admire a good mystery, and this virus is certainly a tough one. Oh, a virus. I doubt we shall meet again, but nonetheless, tread lightly through here. These machines are still semi-functional. I heard that Road to Gehenna is hard. It was very hard, yeah. I didn't- I streamed it for just one session, and then I think I played a little bit off stream? I doubt we shall meet again. Okay, that's the same. That's the same dialogue. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. You're great. <gasps> They're shooting at me. Whoa, so much treasure. Is this a trap? I don't know. I'm falling for it if it is. Okay, ready for the noise? I love the noise. What is your IQ? I feel like that's not something you typically, like, just ask people? I don't know. I don't think I've ever been asked that before or asked anyone that before. And I don't know. <laughs> I haven't... I haven't taken a official test, like, ever, so... I don't know. I have my, um... My ancient... What, my, like... How old is my SAT score now? So old. Oh, that hurt. And my ACT scores to go off of. Like, <laughs> it's an expensive test, yeah. It's kind of an odd question to ask. A little bit. This room seems important. Mainframe vault. Cool. It's like this circle y thing with another circle y thing, and these seals inside, and the bottom one is broken. I don't know. Very, very short drawing of that. My gamer IQ is ginormous. Well, I don't know about that. Topeka, welcome in. How's it going? I like pineapple on pizza. If we go down that road, I'm a fan of pineapple on pizza. I can't, uh, I can't really do anything with this yet, it seems. Yay! It's so good, I'll die on this hill. I am not like... I don't know. I'm not gonna fight anybody because of their answer to that question. I'm, I understand either way. Food is so personal. Textures are so personal. I get it. If you don't like it, I get it. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I appreciate it. Hi, Boops to Snoot. Every time this discussion comes up, though, I will say I get hungry. <laughs> All these rooms are scary. I don't... Oh, that one has a map beacon in it, though. I don't want to go in any of them. <gasps> Here, let's save. Fight, fight, fight. No fighting, acrylic. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, DJ. You're good. Um. Whoa, can you just keep hitting this thing? Is this my own money that I'm... I think this is my own money that I'm retrieving. So that's how you withdraw. Ah. Let's test it. 264. Two hundred fifty-nine. I got it. Finally, you solved that puzzle. <laughs> Huge gamer IQ. <sighs> that that bird is so cute. Look at that little burb. 
Sorry I'm hitting your perch. I just need a couple spare parts so I can heal if I need it. I'm gonna save again. Um, it's interesting, DJ. I did not take an IQ test for the military. I took, like, not the ASVAB, the other one. And it was I, fine. I don't know how it translates to a standard IQ test, but, um, I don't know. That was a very long time ago. Very long time ago. This game is so cute, isn't it? Not the wallet, hi. I scored high on IQ tests and I'm looking for like-minded people and you seem very intelligent. Well, I don't think you should, I, this is just a personal opinion, but I don't know that like scores and numbers is how I judge how I wanna get to know someone or not. Oh, these electricity things are chasing me down because it's it's also like uh, Weimeiser was saying it's very expensive so not everybody has access to that um, I was in the Air Force for five and a half years and I was in <laughs> I was in ROTC before that so it feels like a lot longer And I have been out since 2019, and it's been the best years of my life so far. Mm, what's that? Oh, I already got the treasure that was over there, it looks like. Or maybe it was just empty. Those things are really hard to dodge. This is where we came in. This is where we talked to Quirrell, Limerick. I already forgot. So where am I trying to go in here? Down. Oh, I get it now too. I'm finally discovering everything. The question mark, it's not that I can't use the map sweeper function, it's showing, it's a key on the map. The question marks are where I don't know how to pass that spot yet, okay. We'll get there. Uh, I don't know what that means, Topeka. You were in the Marine Corps? Nice. I would like to leave this area. Oh, I forgot about- I already forgot about one of my main mechanics, that's why. I got too distracted with other things. It's fine. Is this a Vania type? It is, yes. Robot Metroidvania. Very- if I had to pick one, very Hollow Knight so far, but... It's its own game, a little bit. A little bit of new stuff, a little bit of familiar stuff. Oh, it's from Stargate. Okay, okay, my bad. This game looks like something I want to play myself, so I'm going to take off so I don't get spoiled. Absolutely, Clavinet. Let us know how you end up liking it if you do play it. Now I want to go to the bottom left and go down. Okay, this is new. I forgot where I came in, so I kept repeating the same spots. Scary. Everything has these little, like, angry faces on them, too. Can I hurt those light bulbs? 
That didn't seem to do much to them, but maybe... Maybe that's just not how it works. This area is giant. Does this have a name? Mainframe Vault, I guess. Tomorrow I will be playing Doom Eternal. I played the original Doom when I was a kid. Nice. Oh, I don't have another key yet. Can I jump up on top of this building? No, everything's locked in here. Does this get marked on my map? Need key. That other area had a rusty key, I think? I don't know if this will be the same type of key or something new. Yikes! Was there an exit down there? I don't know. No. Central core. I went right into an electric blob. It looks like the weapon, the Kilver. Is this another boss room? No. How am I supposed to get through here, though? Can I stand on your head? Nope. I don't know if I can do this yet. I can't jump off of this and over and up. Okay, forget that. I'll come back later. Leave me alone. Ugh. There's treasure. But at what cost? Oh, there's a door up there. The noises, the fizzy... Electricity noises are very good. Oh, there's a way to go down in that room that I missed. Ah! <gasps> oh, it's an insta kill. I've got 71 spare parts. Oh. 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 There's like batteries and battery acid. Oh, okay, I don't need to use spare parts. I can just heal. Wait, there's word. Do you see the words when you press generating system haiku operating system? <laughs> Our little, our little UI within the UI. <laughs> What's all this? It's on fire. <laughs> no. The text being briefly visible is a nice touch. Yeah, that's really cute. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. And I keep forgetting I cannot dash midair, only on the ground so far.
cars, car batteries. There's like little flying bugs. What's down here? Sewers. I don't think I can swim. <laughs> Just had to check, but I wasn't hopeful. <laughs> Ooh. Do the water droplets hurt me? Nope. Oh. Oh. Fish. We found spring in the sky. I apologize, but as is normal, every time I finish a game, I start using <laughs> all the same names from the previous game. They carry over for a little bit. Such a palette change, yeah. Ooh, music change? Nope, it's just a mine that's honing in on me. Kinda afraid to go down there. Oh, that's a drill. <laughs> this gauntlet! Coolant soluble. Removes heat more efficiently from the user's system. Okay, now we gotta start figuring out the different chip strats. What's the best combo? Okay, that is <laughs> water. With a current running through it. I will leave now. <laughs> Not the floor is lava, but... Similar effect. Bye! Oh, okay, so it doesn't have to hit me for the timer to run out. There's more of them down there, though. Beep, 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 beep. Oh my god. <laughs> Eventually, they slow down and stop chasing you. But it's still scary, but they make such a cute little noise. I'm guessing I can't go through these waterfalls, though. No, not even with the dash. The dash kind of makes you invulnerable for a split second. But not through water. That's okay. We. I wonder if we get like armor. If we get a little spacesuit look looking bubble thing. I would like that. Yeah, this is all question marks in here, which means obstacle for later. The little bubble sounds are so nice. Oh, uh, how did I come in here? Oh, it doesn't matter. They kind of go out the same place. Back to central core. Oh, explodey battery. Ah, not you again. 
Oh, I guess it is a battery. I don't know. That other one was... Reminded me of, like, the junkyard magnet in, uh... The Brave Little Toaster. I need... To, if I die, I'm gonna have to get that software again. Software. That chipset. Everything is software now. Oh! I don't have any... It didn't even let me heal? Why not? Oh! Oh my god! No! Oh my god, I hate it. No, we had to go so far back. Oh, but it's a nice save and they let you keep your stuff. That's so kind. Oh, that's terrible. Hi, Zoe, welcome in. This junkyard theme reminds me of Earthworm Jim. It's a really good boss theme. We got very electrocuted. Let me see if it remembers. And it remembers my map. That's so nice. Spoiled. I don't want to do that again. Goodbye. If I want to do the boss, I have to go down and to the right. What else can I do right now? I need a key. So maybe I just go all the way back and buy that other key. That's so far away. But let's try it. Hi, Pizzicato. How are you? Oh. Oh, I can't get to that one. That's not where I came in. Okay. I'm doing good. It's definitely Monday. Uh, but I feel all right. I had enough time to get some stuff done around the house before stream today, so that feels good. And it's just, it's fun to be starting a new game. There's something about the way the wall jump works that I haven't quite figured out yet. Oh, there's a couple doors in here too that I can do instead of going all the way back to the shop. I think I was scared of these the first time I came in here. Oh. Oh, that's just a wall. Looks like honeycomb over there, kind of. I ran out of spare parts. Oh, it turns into little ones. No, I'm just trying to heal. Leave me alone. No! Ugh. I 
keep losing all my spare parts. Love the colors. Yeah, me too. The palette is cool. Oh my god. I'm not gonna make it. Can I heal once before I go up here? It takes nine, I think. And if I... Oh, and the next time I die... I should stay at the save long enough to equip that other charm. If I want to use it. It's not a charm. Chip. It even starts with the same first two letters, though. So basically the same thing. Hi, Cavernous. Welcome in. How are you? I did not think I would beat the game, but I did! Nice! How long- can I ask how long it took you, uh, in-game hours, roughly? We looked at how long to beat, and it said 12-something, 13-something for completionist leisurely pace. And I just wanted to have, like, a real- a real live person comparison, if you wouldn't mind sharing. Tears of the Kingdom consumed me the entire weekend. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. I don't remember. It's been a while. That's fair. That is understandable. No worries. Okay, let's go across to this other scary room. <laughs> that feels weird. No, that's not it. Uh -uh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't remember exactly the hours, but I 100%ed it in three streams, probably slightly longer than the estimate. Okay, cool. Thanks, Colette. I usually go off of whatever the longest is and add more, <laughs> but for most games, it's, it's, I've learned that that's pretty okay for me for like plus streaming time, plus, I don't know, chatting, getting distracted. <laughs> It's not a very long game. Hey, Power Lord, welcome in. No, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting it to be super long. Um, I think it's right in the range I was hoping for. Often I'm double what how long to beat says. Yup, same. I can't think of a good example off the top of my head. Well, actually, no, I can. Just kidding. I lied. Artful Escape was a good example of one that took me way longer to stream because there's just so much to look at. It's so pretty and I would sit there and stare at the scenery and talk about it. <laughs> but the game itself, there's really not much to it. It's just run to the right, like click through the cool story. I think the first one that ever really got me for stream time was Super Liminal because that was maybe the first time I ever used How Long to Beat. And I didn't know how to read the chart, and so I just took the first, like, average number it gives you. And, uh, yeah, it took way longer than that. I, I, the, the first number it gave me made me think, oh, I can play this in one stream. And then the stream kept going and going and going, and I was like, oh no, I, 
I really want to end stream, but I really want to beat this, and I don't know how close we are to the end. Alright, so that room didn't work out. That room didn't work out. Maybe we do need to go buy that key. Ugh. Looks like I clocked 10.1 hours. I don't remember how much exploring I did. That's... That's pretty solid. Can you be a shortcut, please? No? Okay. I don't expect to get through it in 10, but that's... That's not too far off from what... Yeah, like the 12, 13 hour one. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going all the way back to that room with the shopkeep. Oh, I'm overheating. Sorry, Haiku. Hot, 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 hot. But don't jump in the water to cool down. Yeah, this is the way to go. That's how I felt about Cozy Grove. Uh, which part? Cozy Grove is real cute. I haven't played it in a while, though. I'm not good at keeping up with dailies in games. Hi! Oh, I don't think I have enough money. Nope, I have... I'm close. I'm really close. 236 in the bank. All of it? It was much longer game than anticipated? Oh, okay, that the length was... Yeah, Cozy Grove... Well, it's like a never-ending game. It's a continue to play and check in. I guess you can beat it. But then they keep adding new stuff, don't they? One game I need to return to is Little Witch in the Woods. It sounds like they added more content. Ooh, nice. Ooh. There was a room with a bunch of treasure in it that I think I walked right through and didn't pick it up, and that's what I'm looking for right now, is treasure. This is a pretty good room for getting spare parts, though. Boop, boop, oh. Oh, that's a pretty good room for it, too. Little Witch in the Woods being an early access game, it's getting new content isn't a surprise. I want the next installment of Slime Rancher 2. I, we had the new stuff a while ago. I'm ready for more new stuff. <laughs> And I actually do need to go back into that game. Oh, this is that wall that I feel like is one way, but I feel like it shouldn't be. Ugh. I need to go back into the game and see. There was a, it was a little buggy in this one area for me, so I wanna see if they patched that. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. <sighs> I 
I keep pressing the wrong button for map, too. Wait, and where... Okay, yeah, this is right. Now we have enough for the key. If I can get there in a timely fashion. It's already so much map. I can't keep track. I gotta open the map every 10 steps. Even with writing stuff down. I passed the shop. She's in here. Hi, Sonnet. I'm overheating. Mm-hmm. I feel like... Oh, I'm really overheating. I feel like this isn't gonna work because... Well, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe all the keys are rusted keys and they... I was thinking they would have different names for the different locks in the different areas, but we'll, we'll see. I want, uh, unlimited dash as soon as possible. <laughs> it's, it's so tough that you sort of have it, but... You have to let it cool down. Save keys to open doors. Gauntlet announcer guy. Whoa. I keep fumbling what button to push for map unlock. Also, that health, that save is so far away. This room, I think, is the one that has a bunch of treasure in it that I just kind of have been walking right past. Because it's kind of a scary room. It's alright. Not the best, not the worst. This is where Limerick was. Ugh! No! At least you can do wall jumps on the same wall. That's at least one game that had... There's at least one game that had wall jumps annoyed me by preventing same wall wall jumps. Dread? Didn't Dread only have ones where you could bounce back and forth? I can't remember. I don't have any spare parts in the bank. But Dread was okay because it still felt really good. Well, they, yes, they do tend to allow, but I don't think Dread did. <laughs> I think it was a weird exception. I remember. Uh. 
Where am I going? Bottom left. Ooh. Is this right? Yes. Hi, Dumpster Donuts. Welcome in. How's it going? You're gonna plant some haiku today. It's alright so far. I feel a little lost. Ah, it isn't the right type of key. It says specific key. I think I did... I, I clued into the word specific key, but I'm stuck, so I thought I might as well try that other key. Mm, okay. I'm good. This game is cute. It is very cute. It's tricky, too. With that door, I don't think I can get into. There's another one on the bottom left that maybe I didn't see? I don't think I saw this. Hi! Are you a boss or a friend? Hello there. Well, aren't you a capable little robot, hmm? Come, let me show you my newest creation. Ta-da! Well, there's not much to see yet. But it will look marvelous when it's finished, trust me. All I need is a few more power cells to power this thing on. If you see any, please make sure to give them a little nudge. I will reward you handsomely. This is... Quatern? The scientist... ...wants power cells. Central core. Oh, they're going to pay me handsomely. I missed that part. Central core. Okay. Oh, but it's a dead end. Oh, I think that circle y thing. Maybe that was a power cell? That had the, like, little bits floating around it. That's why we got paid. Maybe. Just got back from checkup on wife's eyes. Looks like they're extremely dry, which can have a huge effect post-surgery. They got her prescription eye drops and that should help. I hope it helps. There was no mix-up with lenses, which is a huge worry off the shoulders. I bet. I'm glad. I built a small device to transport them through the fabric of space, but as soon as they come into contact with an eternal external energy source? To be honest, I thought my nifty little invention would have found a few more by now. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> Cute. Maybe I do have to fight that boss then. Well, shucks. Are you at least gonna let me save somewhere first? Maybe there's a map room. Oh, I think I did walk into a map room and I was scared, so I left. Classic gen. There's a save here, which I've used, but I can't see it because it's in uncharted territory. Oh, uh, and we have about four minutes until our next ad. Oh, right, this room. I decided not to go in here because of the fire. Oh, right, they make little mini ones.
I don't know where the nearest perch is either. Metroid games have taught me to avoid fire. Yeah, there's rooms in this that are too hot for me to go into. Very Metroid. Hi, Nestor. Welcome in. I'm liking Haiku so far. It's cute. Really fun pow- uh, fun- I almost said fun power cell. Really fun color palette. And obviously, our character, our sprite is adorable. The very first boss that I ran into, I struggled with because it was- it felt really slippery. It feels- <laughs> I was saying that it feels buttery smooth compared to La Mulana, so I kept feeling like I was slip sliding into the boss's face a little bit. The style is delightful, yeah. I think it's quite good. Where is that boss room? It's at the top of this chamber. Okay, well you know what? Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna go save again, and then I think we're gonna take our break and fight the boss when we come back. <laughs> Welcome back! Let's go fight this boss. Let's see what this is all about. If I can do a better job of avoiding the electri electrified ceiling. I love how muted the background art is. Not being able to tell the foreground from background is a huge pet peep of mine in games like this. Oh yeah, I've had that. I've had that problem. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. And usually it takes me a couple streams, and then I'm good. I figure out the background foreground situation. But sometimes it really sticks with me till, like, way later in the playthrough, just how tough the background foreground problem is. Oh, I didn't- I still didn't change out my chip. Reduces the number of spare parts dropped on death. Removes heat more efficiently from the system. Where is the nearest, um, branch? Are those marked? I don't know that they are. Hmm. Daxon, take care. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Good luck with, uh, with second week of work. The old, is that a thing I can stand on or problem? Yeah always wondering if you can jump if you'll land on anything I really should drop off some of this treasure Ugh, did we see one on the way here are these is this that looks breakable maybe there's one down here Maybe there's one by... Oh, I don't want to go looking for it. After I went through all the trouble to go up and get the key, and then the key didn't end up meaning anything. Let's just do it. We're gonna win this time. Right, I already forgot what the different phases were. Ooh. This is a very cat jam song. Okay, we're doing. Oh, this is, I feel like, different than last time. No! No! 
get to the wall! I was on the wrong side of the room. Okay, I lost like 20 spare parts. I don't know where the nearest thing is. Hi Claire, welcome in. How's it going? This game looks cute and I've had it on my wish list. How are you liking it? I like it a lot. It's day one, so any day one of a Metroidvania, I'm like, Ooh, how do the controls work? It feels weird. But I'm liking all the detail and the sound design. The boss is a car battery, yeah. <laughs> There's some really cute concepts. I can just, can you, like, I don't know, some of you have made games. Can you imagine making cute little concept art and coming up with, oh yeah, and then they're gonna go through this tower and all these light bulbs will chase after them and you have these visions in your head of what this robot game is gonna look like and then seeing it come to life like this. I just think it's so cool. Someone, ooh, ow, came up with this concept. I would love to see the concept art. That's what I'm trying to say. Ugh, I don't know where the nearest... Wait, except... No, the, the whistle is just the thing I use when I go next to a perch if I've nev if I've never activated it before. Oh right, they turn into little ones. Which are even harder to deal with. But they do drop lots of coins. Not sure if it's a car battery or a dumpster. Never figured it out. Well, it has the plus and minus on it. So I'm thinking car battery. Now you're thinking with car batteries. Oh, oh god, I'm overheating. Does saving cool you down? Oh, yes, there's one next to this. Doo -doo -doo. Thank you. I was so worried about all the spare parts. And then I just need like 20 or so to have enough to feel like I can heal. The speedrun I watched called it a car battery. I wonder if it has a name. Gonna go to sleep now. Thanks for the chill vibes. Always glad to be here. Thank you, Macchiato. Have a good sleep. We'll see you around. It was nice and chill today. I mean, was. We're still going, but... This is, this is slightly less stressful than the beginning days of La Mulana. Or, like, any days. But... <laughs> I think somehow... I think there's a difference between a stressful game... with chill vibes and like a stressful game with stressful vibes. You know what I mean? I think we somehow managed to still keep it pretty chill in here even if we're playing games where I'm <laughs> struggling. Boba, hi, welcome in, how's it going? Yeah, Mecha Hollow Knight. It's a, it's a cute little robot hollow knight. Hollow light. Because it's a lot smaller. A lot shorter. And so far, they, they're like micro bosses. Like, even though they've been tricky for me, they're pretty quick fights. I guess kind of, um, Grusmother-esque? Like, a few of that in a row. Oh 
more power cells. Are you gonna make that cute noise again? Oh. I like when they laugh. Now I need to go down here. Yay! Uh, I feel great, although still, even with saving, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. Like, I deposited all of my stuff, so eventually- Oh, what the heck? Eventually, after a certain amount of boss attempts, I'm gonna run out of healing during a fight. I- if I- if I don't have any left after I die, I'll have to get some more on the way there. I haven't found a spot to heal during this fight, though. doing that? I thought that was until the next phase. Okay, we're definitely dying. I don't have enough things to heal. Ugh. Tragic. They just, they just, everything happens so fast. Yeah, now I don't have any spare parts, because I deposited them all, but it's good, because I won't lose them forever. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. So rude. Truly rude. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Can I fight you? Or are you too strong for me? I can fight you. And I probably should. Oh, risky. Okay, let's try again. More Catrio. At least it's good music. It reminds me of... This game is like Gato Robato meets... Hollow Knight meets... I don't know what else. Metroid. Axiom Verge Egg save rooms. What? Oh god. I should heal there. Oh, and I forgot about dashies! I gotta dash! It's so hard. I only lost seven things that time. It's really hard. I don't know what else I can do right now if there's another spot I can go to. I don't think so. I feel like this boss fight's gonna give me that key that I need, maybe. dropped a lot of parts that time. I keep calling them coins, but they're they're like little gears. Okay. <laughs> Wish me luck. Ugh. 
Okay, this is better. Oh no, wrong button. Can I heal in time? Ooh, what is that pixel like stuck on the screen there? Oh my god, this floor is like slippery too. jumped, but I didn't jump far enough. I feel like that was maybe close. We'll see. Keep going up here. This is the wrong way. That pixel, this like black square in the middle of the screen distracted me. But at least we're not losing tons and tons of parts. I didn't even grab that other one. upside down when it puts its like bolts down into the ground that's when you know it's gonna do this scary floor thing I press the button Did I get you? Are we done? Yay! That was hard. Electric orbs. It wasn't the key that I thought it was gonna be. If you can be mother, you got this. Alright. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the GG's. I don't think it's an exact one-to-one. <laughs> We still gotta learn patterns and learn hitboxes, but it will—it's not—it's not too bad. It's day one. We're lear we are learning stuff. It'll solidify as we go. Generates electrical orbs that encircle the user, damaging enemies it comes in contact with. Versus 10% chance to deal critical damage. I can choose between those two, and I can choose between the two blue ones. The speedrun puts a lot of work to skip this fight. Oh, interesting. Yeah, a lot of RNG for the different moves. The reward is a whole lot of spare parts. I think you said something earlier about the the speedrun red sail. Did I miss that? Apologies if I did. Huh? Ha ha! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we're good. It, we can't do it unless I make those sound effects. Oh, just that. Th oh, that they call the boss a car battery. Right, right. I did see that. I was like, I don't know if it was anything else about the categories or anything, or how long it is. Hi, Moosey. Welcome in. How's it going? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. 
I can't see the floor here. Ooh. Nice. Are we done? I can't see the floor here either. I didn't save after that. I said, I'm not going to go back. Because last time I went back, there ended, be there ended up being a save. Straight ahead. But now, here I am, wishing I had gone back. Hey, you. These remind me of the cameras in Stray. Ooh. Nice. Okay, now I can go save. Yeah. And I should go turn that- I should go get my money from that. I wonder if you beat the boss... ...and then you die? Since the saving has been pretty nice so far, I wonder if it still counts the boss as complete. My guess would be yes, but... Because it has- it's got save stations. I don't- I don't know if it also auto-saves after boss fights. I'll have to look more closely next time at the icon. There's no art book and no concept art available. This was made by one guy and he put all of his time and effort into making the game. There's no merch, period. Wow. Well, this is very impressive. Clearly. Oh yeah, I'm looking for... Do I want to go turn this stuff in? Yeah, it's not that far away. It's the... Ooh. The bank that's the thing that's kind of far away. But the save spot and the science spot aren't too far. I don't think. Right? Yeah, it's the bottom of this room. Hello! Well, aren't we off to a great start? Two power cells already. Heh <laughs> heh. That's the noise. There's different versions, too. I'm gonna clip that. Hang on. Or make a marker so I can make a clip later. Is that your paper notes? Yeah, I do have some paper notes for this game. We're also doing stickers again today. But, um... I have, like, NPC names and what they do and where I met them and places I need to go back to. Like, there's a room that's in the dark. There's a room that's too hot. There's a switch behind a locked door. They're not super organized, but I thought might as well have a, note, a notes cam for this game, too. And you know what I love about notes cam is I have like a memento. I was going to say memorabilia, but that's not right. I have a nice memento. When the playthrough's over. I'm not going to go back to the other bank because I think at least since I can save here if I do end up dying a bunch I'll just say okay forget it I'll go back to the old save but I'm guessing there's a new bank coming up soon hopefully Ooh. I usually write my notes on scraps of envelopes and stuff, then throw them away. I should get a notebook. Oops, I'm just wasting. I have so many stream notebooks from over the years now. My first game notes, I think we talked about this once. My first video game notes were either Riven or 
No, I know what they were. They were Harvest Moon. They were Harvest Moon 64. I printed out the thing on Game Facts or whatever to get all the power berries. And I would track what stuff the characters like. You know, this was pre Stardew Valley Wiki. This was Harvest Moon 64. So those are my first video game notes, and then I took notes for Ribbon, and I took notes for Chrono Cross to get all characters. And... I think I took notes for Paper Mario to get all the star shards. Love looking back at game notes, especially little sketches. Oh yeah, I have a bunch of... Uh, map sketches. This is called Pinion's Expanse. The map drawing is more recent years. I didn't really do that as a kid, but with some of these... Actually, I did it for this game series called... Submachine, and they're point-and-click games. I forget who makes them. Browser games. And it's like a series of rooms in a grid and it's point and click so you have to get the right item and use it in the right spot and double back and it's very maze-like and I drew maps for those. That was in college, I think. Submachine is so good. I'm always surprised to find somebody who's heard of them. I, there were like 10 or something? Maybe not that many, but there were a lot of them. And that was a while ago. I don't know if they've added more. Still have my notes on Chrono Cross, never finished the game. I got stuck, I think, shortly after an airship. It's a long one. Um, it's a confusing one, so I don't blame you. I'm coining a new term, memorabiblia. A written memento of a journey taken, recording in such exquisite detail that it could conceivably be sold as merch. I love it! I want to take pictures of my La Mulana maps at least maybe not all of the pages of notes because it's so many and like upload them somewhere just for fun i'm writing it down memora biblia nester thanks <laughs> thanks for that well Thanks for that idea. That makes it sound like I'm gonna go use it as my own. No. I just think you came up with something real cool. <laughs> this is- there's like a wind noise coming from down below. Kind of makes me want to go check it out and I feel like these are gonna fall on me. <laughs> Not on me. Okay, good. There's a save. I want to try the electrical orbs one. And if I use this... Okay, I still overheat, <laughs> but maybe not as quickly. I don't know my first notes experience, but the first I remembered was playing OG Metroid. Friend and I went camping in the backyard with an extension cord and NES took turns, one playing the other map making and navigating. That's so nice. As clunky as no map Metroid was, wouldn't trade that experience for anything. I did that last year on stream. Um, I have a much better map of Metroid 2. That one, I stuck with it and ended up with a full map at the end of the playthrough. Nestroid, I do have map notes, map pages, but it was a lot harder, so I ended up using an online map by the end of the playthrough. Metroid 2 was Game Boy, yeah. No map Metroid was, Ugh, yeah. Okay, let's deposit. We're saving up. This 
This area is kind of... It's kind of peaceful. At least for a moment. Oh, no, never mind. There's a giant guillotine crusher. Oh, so peaceful. I love heavy machinery. I'm missing out on lots of secrets, I'm sure. I'm not really investigating walls as much as I think I should, but it's all right. I just played Metroid 2 last year, was surprised how good it was for a simple Game Boy game. I really liked it. And then I played AM2R and just had so much more of an appreciation for it, having played the original. And like, having played all of the 2D Metroids and circling back for, um, well, all the story. I haven't played the DS, Samus Returns. Circling back though, and then playing AM2R and being like, oh, I understand everything now. Like, this story makes sense now. AM2R, um, another Metroid 2 remake. It's really good. You should play it. Hello. Hi, Limerick. Of course I'm still alive. My assumptions may have been wrong about you. One of the cogs seems to be stuck. They're so tightly interlocked with each other that it's caused a domino effect. The cogs is stuck. I'm pro it's probably in this room. I probably don't need to write this down for later. AM2R was such an achievement. There was also a Metroid Prime 2D project that was looking phenomenal before it got shut down. I think we talked about that, yeah. Uh, a little while back. And that's just too bad. A fan version of Metroid 2, yep. Improved mechanics and abilities and art and it's just great. I've only played one, two, and super. Nice. Yeah, we... I, f I played... Nestroid was like one of the last ones I played, and that was last year. But 2021, I played Super, Prime, Fusion, Zero Mission, Dread, Metroid 2, like all in a row. It was awesome. It's a pretty poor system if you ask me. However, if I'm going to continue my investigation, I need to find a way to get this place up and running. Did you see the mainframe vault on the way here? It has a remarkable yet eerie presence. I doubt you would have noticed, but one of the locks was already broken. I certainly have an eye for details like that. Bit by bit, these clues add up. I, know, I mean, I noticed. I drew it in my really terrible picture of the vault. See, that one's broken. Vault, one of the locks is broken. It's so weird coming off of La Mulana and having like paragraphs of in-game text to copy down verbatim. And this I'm like, I think I'm safe to just do some shorthand here. I don't think I need everything. Can't wait for Prime, I'm so excited. Metroid is amazing. I may try the others. It's, it's hard for me to go back to Super because of how good the mechanics in AM2R and Fusion and Zero Mission feel. And Dread. I love Super Metroid, but as someone who's, like, not playing it often at all and isn't particularly... Like, I'm average at it. I'm fine. Every time I go back, I'm like, oh, it feels clunky. I have to relearn it all over again. There's times I've tried to paraphrase things only to make my version longer. Oh no! The only Metroid I've actually played myself was Fusion. As much as I love the genre, there's something about Metroid IP itself that doesn't quite work for me. Fair enough. There's nothing left to say, I just have to find the broken cog. There's nothing left to say. Can you hear that? 
so cute with this music here. Is this not a death guillotine? I mean, I'm not mad. Just disappointed. I don't know how it's supposed to work, if anything is supposed to happen there. I'm leaving. What a great little touch the voices are. They're so nice. I've only played Prime and never beat it and a little of Fusion, but the lore is where it's at and its world experience is unforgettable. I think... Because of how I got into Metroid was through Hollow Knight. I loved Hollow Knight so much I was like, I need to play the original... The original Metroidvania. Um, and I don't know if I knew what Metroidvanias really were until I started streaming. Like, I played lots of video games growing up, but I don't think I knew much about different genre technical terms. And people don't like the word Metroidvania anyways. I get it. But, um... Once I loved Hollow Knight so much, and then I played Metro, and I was like, oh, I, I need more of this. I love this, this game design. I love maps. Give me more giant maps to run around in, please. <laughs> oh, well, we're dead. I forgot I only had one health left. Do I need to talk to, um... Do I need to talk to... My character again? This is cool. Look at his clock. Oh. Can I, like, fit in here eventually? When can I crouch? When do I get morph? When I replayed super last year i didn't know that there were all these cool hidden weapons in the game different weapon effects based on combinations yeah when i played super it was new i just equipped everything same we talked about it at the end of my playthrough and like went over the combos i missed super metroid is second in metroidvania only next to hollow knight i don't find it clunky i think it's held up incredibly well the mechanics are my biggest appeal but the lore setting mood helps that and by the end of my playthrough the mechanics didn't bother me I, and people would ask me, what's your favorite Metroid now that you've played all these? What's your favorite Metroid? And I was like, super? I don't know. It's still super. It's still super. But every time I've tried to go back and play it on stream, I've been like, dang, I, I really suck at this game. <laughs> I'm so bad at these controls. Like, I want it to be my favorite, but I can't replay it. Hollow Knight pretty good, right? I was a big proponent of the map former term as an alternative to Metroidvania, but always having to explain what it meant got old fast and I gave up. Like, there's some cool alternatives, but they're not universally known enough to just drop it in conversation and be like, yeah, you know. And I think platform adventure is like, it covers more things than, than what I'm talking about. I don't know. Hi Mac, how's it going? Welcome in. Zelda basically more robust Atari ET. Side view Zelda mechanically. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> is Zelda 2 a Metroidvania? Super Metroid has the best vibes. I just love how Samus controls uh, Infusion. Mm -hmm. I've come to the table flip of all games of Metroidvanias. Exactly. <laughs> I'm starting. I'm getting closer to that every day. Metroidvanias are just Outer Wilds likes. Yep. The harder one tries to nail it down, the less useful it becomes and introduces weird exceptions. 
Okay, so I got to this room before. It's not mapped, which is unfortunate. Let's try to go down. I think I just got scared of these flying enemies and didn't go down far enough. And here's my map. Ah! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Mischievous the Troublemaker. The Troublemaker. Did you enjoy getting lost? Oh, I gotta fight you? I'm too slow. You're so cute though. I can't even affect you. <laughs> what just happened? I just want my map. One of my favorites was realizing how much the witness is a Metroidvania. Cute, aptly named, yeah. Let's go back. Okay, this room I can, I think I can get through. I've done it once, I can do it again. I've done it more than once at this point. And then this is where... Mm, there's so many enemies! Is it always a trap, no matter what? No. Map! Whoa. Pinion's Expanse. It's a big area. It's a pretty distinct genre to me that isn't too confusing, but it's funny expanding on what genres are, like saying everything is a super sandwich, yeah. I think it's one of those things where... I don't know. It's, it's games that are similar to Metroid and Castlevania? But all the Castlevanias are different, but if you think about it too hard, then you're gonna find a million exceptions. So, like, don't think about it too hard. There are, there are very clear games that are trying to take their favorite parts of, like, Super Metroid and recreate it in their own way and add mechanics that fit with that feeling and... But I don't make games, so I don't know. I just play him. The witness is only a Metroidvania if knowledge is a power, which it is not. Q librarians and teachers everywhere crying. Knowledge is power. What are you talking about? Salads and the rest is wet salads. Okay, what does this do? Does this move the cog? Repair the clock? Yeah. <gasps> train! Oh, look, it's a train with cute blinking eyes. Can I get back up here if I jump down? I don't care. I want to go talk to the train. Oh, I can't talk to the train. I can just board it. There's a little turnstile. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, does this game have language? Hang on. What's the symbol on the side of the train? I mean, it does have language. You know what I mean. Oh, I need to do block letters for the little pixels. There we go. Train, please talk. To me, overthinking the terms metroidvania and roguelike hides the fact that when someone says that you have a starting point to understand the game they're describing. Cyprin, welcome in. How's it going? I, I'm not sure exactly what you mean. To me, like, if you say metroidvania, 
then yeah, that gives someone like an idea of a starting point of what the game might be like, that that's a good way to describe it. This train doesn't talk, it only takes me places. <gasps> Hello again, the train eventually showed up. Is there anything you'd like to buy? <gasps> human skull. <laughs> I'll take one human skull, please. It has something engraved on the back. Capsule fragment, capsule fragment. Ferromagnetic. Attracts types of metals found in spare parts. Nice. I agree with you. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I thought that you were, but I wanted to clarify. What happened to this world? I don't know. Rip. Uh, my mouse is being slow. Okay, where is my mouse? There it is. It's a bad title because they should be Metroid likes, but the name doesn't have the same ring. Castlevania is my favorite 2D IP. Even with that bias, I can admit it doesn't really bring anything distinctly new to the genre. I think there's some of the Metroidvanias I've played, there's some that lean more when I play them. I'm like, this feels more like Symphony of the Night, and this one feels more like Super Metroid. But the two are already... Kind of similar. I don't know. I could go back and and make more points on it if I want, but... I'm happy with my understanding of it. Uh, this one's called Protector's Capsule. Increases the health of the user, allowing them to take more damage. Pocket Magnet. A small device that protects the number of spare parts dropped on death. Sword Extension. Increases length of sword. Agile Alloy. Decreases the weight of the user's sword. Swing their sword at a greater speed. Excuse me. Allows the user's motherboard to hold more chips. It's our motherboard. Allows this user's motherboard to hold more chips. Two chip sockets. I wonder if the green one... Nope, it's not always the map scanner. Okay. Speaking of motherboard, if you didn't see it already... When I press this, there's a little bit of text behind that says Haiku Operating System. Loading. Haiku Operating System Loading. It's so cute. I would love to have a longer form combo about that. This may not be the proper form for it, but someday. I know, I'm like, I want to get into it, but I don't want to get too much into it. But it is a fun discussion. It always comes up. Hi, Rusty. This is a nice little discovery, isn't it? Compared to what it's like out there, this traveling town appears to be untouched. If I had to bet, I'd say it's because the train is constantly on the move, just like you and me. Here, I made these markers to remember where to jump on and off. I bet they'd be helpful for you, too. Train station markers. Thank you. This takes me back to days when my joints weren't so rusty. Back then, I would train hop to new towns and cities just to avoid the fair. I guess exploration has always been at the core of my nature, even if it did get me in trouble. Admittingly, I look back now, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Live while you're young, my friend. Before you know it, life will have passed you by. Oh, they're so cute. This is my best friend. Haiku operating system. I think we're a little off syllable-wise, yeah. Who are you? Rondell. Hmm, you're a new face. Text on train. The welder. Um, train has Rusty Sonnet. Sonnet's her name, right? Yeah. Rondell. If a surgeon commits to always stitching patients back up within three stitches, then five, then three, that's a haiku operating system. <laughs> Mikair, hi, welcome in. Robot. We're playing a robot game. Not that it matters, the world has fallen apart out there. Got any fragments that need welding? You'll need three of those before I can help you. 
Interesting. Okay. And this is... This has language on it, too. It's crossed out for now. There's a save on here. Hello? Okay, let me save real quick. <laughs> have one station. Oh wait, I want to get to chips. I think I'm good with the chips I have. Can I afford? I think I can afford one new one right now. This train music is... It's really cute. If I had to pick, I would pick Agile Alloy. I don't- or save for the capsule fragments. But I don't know if I'm saving for any key items right now. But I also feel like spare parts aren't too terrible to save up for. I really, I really wonder if I could have gotten that. I don't think I could have gotten that yet. Um, what is that called? Vessel fragment. Oh, I didn't even read this. Liquid coolant. Capsule, not vessel. Fragment above pinion train station. Cool. And we're getting our next ad break. I think our last one of the stream in like four and a half minutes. Just as a heads up. Bye, train. <laughs> I did come over here, right? And I couldn't get through here yet. This is the other side of a mini boss fight. Oh, that's where I fell. That's the mischievous person, I think. I always forget that I can overheat sometimes if I'm not paying attention. So has La Mulana completely changed your gaming style at this point? Uh... Not completely. I was always taking notes for games. There are th some things that I'll take with me, but it's not like overhauled my playing style, no. <laughs> oh, who are you? Oh, these weren't guillotines. These were elevators. This is the call button. Oh. Or you can send it away, I guess. It's like magnets repelling each other. I wonder if Limerick is still up there. Now that I fixed the cog. Were you in this room? I think you were in the next room. Go haiku go. Oh, Limerick's gone. And then it, at one point I jumped down here and I fell. And had to fight someone mischievous. It is very nice. It has those question marks. I have notes on what they are. So I can kind of remember what item I might need there. But it marks the question. It puts the questions for you in case you're like, where was it I needed to go back to? The backgrounds are really cool, yeah. 
I I'm excited to go back to the water. The water world. I really liked the look of that area, but there wasn't much I could do there yet, it seems. Ooh. Everything's trying to kill me. And we're going so high up. Let's keep going up. Top of the tower. Oh. Please be a save over here. The way that wire is hanging is so cool. Neither of these are saves. Okay, we're gonna explore both of these cool rooms after the break. Okay, what was I doing? We're at the top of the tower. We gotta pick left or right. This this looked really intriguing to me with these platforms and the music cut out. Oh, it cut out, but then it kind of gets more intense. I wonder if this is a boss. Factory facility. Oh, we're like in a new area. Maybe I should have bought that chip, that chip set. What are they making? Yeah, maybe that's part of the mystery. I don't know. I really want to test if I can fall down here. I can! I can hang out down there. It's not scary. Yet. Factory, facility, Final Fantasy. Final Frontier. Oh! Whoa, did you see those, like, lasers? There are all these white lines across the screen. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I feel like I'm not supposed to be up here yet. But I am anyways. There's a ladder right below where I'm standing, but I can't climb down. Wow. Do those lines always appear when I take damage? Interesting. I need to pay closer attention. There's always lines around my body, but I don't remember them crossing the entire screen. Okay, nope, not gonna happen. Uh, I guess I'll take a second to repair. I don't have a map, so I can't... Oh, I don't have a map, but I think... Oh my god, I think the map's in here. Look at this background! Where is it coming from? Below? Yeah. What's up here? Might have been full screen because you didn't take damage from any one source. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Unclear. Let's try to grab a map before I die. Through this nonsense. Some of those walls that I've been trying to hit, I need to hit multiple times. I always forget to do that. 
I hit it once and it doesn't work and I think, well, I look silly if I stand here hitting a wall that doesn't break. But I look silly if I try to break it once and give up. <laughs> Nothing wrong with looking silly. So now... I have this. I think that'll have a question mark? No, not yet. Let's keep going. Oh, I dashed too early. I'm running out of spare parts, though. The dash invincibility is pretty gen is pretty generous, yeah. Well, I guess. Uh, it depends. This is uh. This is. An experience. Okay. It's just straight up Crystal Peak. A little bit. That's okay. I like Crystal Peak. I like it now. I don't think I liked it the first time I ever went there. I think I went in and went, nope. Never coming back here. <gasps> mean. Mean, so mean. <clears throat> Look at that enemy up above with the grin on its face. Oh, I'm scared of everything now. Save. Oh, hi! Slate! This game has a slate! Slate by Dylan McNeil? Is this a, um... What is the word? A backer? Kickstarter, that's, that's the word I was thinking of. This old piece of paper leads here to this wall. What do you reckon? Do you think there are riches beyond the confines of this land? Things that the creators do not want us to see? Perhaps. I guess there's only one way to find out. No, there must be riches! You lied. <clears throat> Where's Ryback? <laughs> I still need to make a few calculated measures. Digging tunnels is a tricky business. If you're one degree off, you can completely miss the mark. <gasps> Here, let me just destroy your room. First Crystal Peaks, then White Palace. No, it's it's very much its own thing. I don't have enough spare parts to heal though. What is this? Big Brother is watching you. Bye. I don't think I can get over to that side. Putting that guy next to a non-breakable wall is kind of mean. Maybe there's an item I don't have yet that breaks it. Or maybe it's a troll. Could be anything. We came all this way through here, but I really don't think I'm gonna be able to like... I don't know. Do a ton of stuff. I say that, but then I keep finding new things. Like a save! <laughs> I want to find the train station. Extractor. Allows the user to extract more spare parts from foes. That's pretty cool. 
I do really like my map chip, though. Cute. Have I been in here yet? No. This is a boss fight room. Is this a train station? Is this a train tunnel? I hear it! <laughs> Best part of the game. What do your equip chips do? Um, removes heat more efficiently from my system. Generates electrical orbs that encircle me and damage enemies and manually, no, automatically sweeps the local area for any obstacles. Right? Isn't the train just darling? <laughs> and this comes out... Where does this come out? This room. I don't know. Let's go to the train. So when I go over here, is this like the train's eyeball from outside? You know, like this eye, but it's like turning in towards me. Does my sprite get a little bigger when I go in here? No. Who Who's driving this thing? They're really squished in there. Oh, I see. You can collect the fragments, but they don't actually form together. You have to weld them. And Rusty's not here anymore. Maybe Rusty's only at the... Whatchamacallit station. I dread the day I finish reading through my entire library. I won't have any new books to read. Do do do. Just saving up for that human skull. I really want this one. But I feel like I shouldn't- I feel like those are a luxury if some of these other things are for progression. I don't know what that's- where I would use that yet, though. It says it has something engraved on the back. Which makes me think that it's... A clue. I could equip some different chips and go back and fight the mischief maker. <laughs> Mischievous the troublemaker. Mischief maker! I'd pay the 500 def a nice conversation piece, yeah. Um, well, I don't have 500, so, but I can keep saving. I, I'm floundering. What do I, do I want to go back to Pinion's Expanse and try that fight again? There's this area, there's this part of Central Core that I went into and then left. I feel like I need another ability before I can... Do too much more? And where does this go? This is what I unlocked before, yeah. Ugh, I don't know. Indecisive. This, this map feels huge, but I've I've uncovered so much so quick. 
And table, welcome in. How's it going? Yeah, let's go back and try that fight again, I guess. If And then if that doesn't go well... We can farm more spare parts. Thank you for redeeming human kindness. Sending human kindness for me to you. To all the chat. Thanks for being here today. You are loved. You are worthy. You are appreciated. You're going to have a great week. And I'm glad we get to spend some time together. Thanks, Ant Thanks, Antable. We're just playing a brand new game today. Well, brand new. It's a year old. It came out April... The end of April 2022. Which is pretty cool. So I can't go back towards the right and I can't even jump up to that little spot again. I have to go around. I love human kindness redemption. I love it too. It's a staple. It wouldn't be the channel without it. It's my go-to, yeah. I don't know. It's just nice. It's just... It's a moment to step away for a second and... And... Have some kindness. That's the whole point. Mm hmm Oh yeah, I want to fall down here. Because I didn't even spend very long on this fight before. I just, I couldn't figure out how to hurt you. Do you have like armor? One of those did damage. Oh, I got hit. I got hit again. I can't stand still and heal. Doesn't work. <laughs> stand on your head. Wait, I didn't save on the train? I definitely saved on the train, right? I thought I did. But it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter where you save. Oh yeah, there's all this region I can do too. I thought I saved on the train in this region and in the new region. I guess not. Human kindness reminds me of a Dolly Parton song. Really? What one? Dolly's a legend. I don't really know her music, sadly. But she's a legend. Hello. Okay, that time I definitely saved. Wait, I can like walk around while we're going there? So cute. Little moving village. And there's a save down there, too. But I didn't use it, because I thought I had saved on the train. Damage always is the full screen lines. Nice! I don't know, I'm not picking up on it, but I think I'm just too disappointed when I 
when I take damage or when I die. Break those. You're so mean. Oh, I always think you're going to go one side first and then to the other side because that's what you did in the other fight. One of the times I fought him, he kept hanging on to the wall and just sitting there and not throwing anything. And then he went to the other side and threw something. Rude. Gotta run for the evening. Thanks for letting me blow up your chat with nonsense. Please, no. Thanks for hanging out, Nestor. We'll see you around. Have a good evening. Not nonsense. Good chats. Oh, I was having trouble wall jumping, too. I wonder if I never actually... That one time I thought I hurt this enemy. It was actually my little sub-weapon thing. No, I think I can actually hurt you if it's if you're on the other side of me. Sometimes. What happens if I fall down here? That would be bad. Speaking of, nope, nope, I always think there's like just enough time between when they drop down, but there's not enough time. Why is that fight so hard? Meant try a little kindness by Glenn Campbell. Oh, nice. I don't know that one. I don't know Glenn Campbell. But, uh, it's got similar vibes. Okay, I'm a little stuck. But, it looks like there's a room, there's a room up here, which, oh, I can't get up there yet. There's a question mark. I don't think I can get up there. And there's a room- there's stuff up here, so maybe we go, go do that instead. Duncan is- is... Jumpy, I think there was a noise or something. He just jumped up awake. I guess I'll use this one now since, I mean, I should have been using it anyway, but here we are. Should I go pick up some spare parts? No, I'm trying to save. I'm trying to save up. It looks like we close our eyes when we go up the elevator. We just have a little moment. we go up this one and then across this way it's 
Most known song is Rhinestone Cowboy. I don't I don't know that one. It's okay, I wanna I wanna listen to the to the kindness one. <clears throat> what is happening here? Wee lasers. Okay, so it turns out I cannot go across there. So what do we do now? Casserole, thank you for the good luck. It's good so far. It's a cute one. But I'm stuck. There's lots of... <clears throat> I feel like I'm having to clear my throat a lot today, sorry. There's lots of little... Of little doors. This is the one that I wrote down that has a switch on the other side of it, but it's... Strangely, it doesn't have a... Question mark by it. Which seems really strange. There's another room. Okay, let's go up again. I enjoyed this game a bunch. Reminded me of Hollow Knight a lot. Yeah, it's like, uh, somebody said Mecha. Mecha Hollow Knight. Okay, this room I haven't done yet. Cool. And that thing is just hanging there, so maybe, maybe that's all I needed. I wonder if I could squeeze through here. I can see a faint light coming from the other side. How do I squeeze through there? Morph. Roll up into a little ball. Slash, slash, slash. Okay, it's not working. Let's go talk to our friend who wants these pieces and then maybe they've created a new ability for us. How do I get back to them though? Oh, so far away. I need to find the train station for mainframe vault, for central core. I wonder... Since I... Was able to send that up. You can't like jump up the elevator shaft though. I bet you can get squished by it. This one. Wee! Do I want the train? No, because I don't have. I don't have this other station yet. Was there an empty station in Central Core? There was one in the beginning area. So maybe we go unlock that train station too. Oh, but I can't go back. 
Oh no! I'm locked out! I can't even go back to the research spot? How do I get through there? It has a question mark! with a human skull. Trap forever! <laughs> I think tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow we're playing this again. We can do something with the title Hike for the Robot, Jen the Human. But today, I had to do <laughs> not La Mulana. We were just, I needed to let people know we were playing it for so long, we're not playing it anymore. For now. The not La Mulana part is very important. Bleep, bloop. Maybe I keep killing that bug over and over because it gives 20 gears. And then we'll get to 500, and then we'll read the engraving on the human skull, and then it'll say, Now you know the secret to getting really small and climbing through those little spaces in the walls. <laughs> That's definitely how it's gonna work. Hmm. Oh, I almost fell. Oh, you just like run away from me. No, I feel pretty bad. It huffs, it's, it like exhales its steam at me and it has a very upset look on its face. Okay, well I didn't get the last of those coins. Sorry, I need the cash. Oh, but now I can't reach you. Do we think that's enough? 63? I forget. I forgot to look before. I grabbed the edge if I had done an up input, maybe. I don't think so. I was lowering my desk and did not realize the hissing sound. Oh, it was in the game, yeah. There's some cool noises. Okay, perfect for the first day of the playthrough. We're buying a human skull. Yes, I would love to own this. It's green, it's cool looking, it's decorative. What does it do? Visit resting? That doesn't help. <laughs> Can I return this? Oh. Go to resting grounds? No, I'm gonna save anyway. I'm sorry, the secret engraving did not- is not up to my standards. This isn't what I hoped for, and now I have no money. <laughs> Ooh.
There was a block in front of this elevator, right? Hmm. Let's go back there. Take care, Trav. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for modding. We'll see ya. We'll see you around. Happy time zone. I just feel like I want to get something done before we end. I'm gonna go see if um, that elevator goes up any- not the elevator, it's like a escalator? If it goes up any higher. And then if it doesn't, I don't know, then we'll come back tomorrow and figure it out. Also, if you haven't taken the poll yet, be sure to use exclamation point poll in chat to vote on our next game. And then, um, I don't know, I was thinking we might continue the lore video tonight. After stream, if anybody's interested. We got like halfway through it Friday. Okay, yeah, this this doesn't look like I can get through. But I obviously could be wrong. But I don't think pogoing is a thing, and if it was, it would pogo me into the ceiling. You're interested, Snake? I think we might do that at... I don't know, maybe... Maybe 8.30 or so. We'll see. Thank you for the poll link. Heaven's Vault is on there. Strange Horticulture is on there. And Case of the Golden Idol is on there. It says this is an exit. I don't know how to get small enough yet. I don't understand. Jump down here. Nope. Okay. Back to the train. I, I feel like we won already because we activated the train station and it's adorable. Am I going the right way? Did I pass it? I passed it. things aren't so bad. No. Hello, train. Safe. Wonderful, and there's these cute little chairs, and we can hang out with Sonnet. I wish Rusty was here. All my friends. Can I actually sit on the bench? No, I cannot. And dude, hi. Thanks for the hello. Welcome in. Um. How do I? Okay, so we got the frequency re receptor, electromagnetism, human skull. A key, a capsule fragment, we came with the sword, the wrench, the whistle, a bunch of chips, and explored so much of the map. Oh right, this is called Water Ducks. This doesn't have a name over here yet. 
Abandoned wastes. Central core. This gold colored part actually doesn't have a name yet, maybe. Hmm. I got a triple save. Okay. This is cute. It's very cute. I hope I don't get too stuck. I'm already worried. Stay tuned for episode two, and don't forget to watch me live on Twitch. Thank you to my monthly Kofi supporters, Oracle the Great, 8 Bit Trav, Toon Wolf, Semi Cortex, Metal Spring Pro, Megadan, and Wymiser. I appreciate you so much. Later, humans. <laughs>